Hey guys, so, um, I don't know if you guys seen my Instagram story, because I don't know who all on this, on my channel follows my Instagram or not. Um, so basically, there is an app that I've featured many, many, many of times on this channel. It was an app called Cocopa or Coco PPA. There's different ways how people spelled it and pronounced it. But I personally spelled it either one of those two ways. I'm um, not spelled it. I apologize. Um, pronounced it. So now if you go into the Cocopa app and you try to open it. you'll get this message. And it says, regarding the refund of unused points, and then in parentheses it says paid portion, our deepest thanks for your regular use of Cocopa. With the termination of the Cocopa service, we will be processing refunds for our, and then it just quits. And then it says own points zero refund amount JYP zero because I didn't put no money into this app at all. And I used it for years. Um, so yeah, with that comes the end of an era. So first of all, I want to give a very, very respectful goodbye to Cocoa Puff. This was very, very unexpected, but also very expected. Um, with the new arrival of the Shortcuts app from iOS... This will definitely be a problem for Android users because of that's where I would still screenshot my icons from. However, for iOS users, this was something I kind of seen coming after the iOS 14 release. Um, now, for Android users, however, you can go on Google and find different icons that you could just crop or whatever you need to do so really it's just more like a sad thing for people who have used the app since almost its beginning so I want to say it got its beginning in 2011 I started using it in 2013 actually you know what I remember seeing a video for Cocopa at the very beginning um Like, back when it first came out. They must have deleted it with the delete of the app. But at one point, there was a Cocopa video that, in Japanese, showed how to use the app. But that's clearly gone now with the app. I want to say that actually came out in 2014, maybe? Now I'm thinking back on it. So I'm going to show you guys how um, a more in-depth way of making your own icons and also using this to bid farewell to Cocoa. So I'm going to go into Pixar. As you can see, I already created one earlier. It's on my story as of October the 1st. Okay, so... Here, I'm going to try to readjust this because of it needs to be able to capture full screen and not just partial screen, I guess. So I'm just readjusting my tripod. Okay, so... You could get free backgrounds and holographic backgrounds and simple ones. So I'm just going to go through the simple ones. Right now I'm really going for a certain theme. Now if you go to stickers, um, you'll actually be very surprised. You could get stuff like the Instagram logo from the app. Or like if you put in camera you can actually find little cameras but some of them you have to pay for so
So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. Apply. Sticker. I'm going to go to my recents. Okay, it's not there. So I'm going to go and search up Kauai. There is a certain frame that I found at one point that I absolutely adore, which this being one of them actually. Because it features Hamstardo, which Hamstardo is something kind of like sweet from my childhood. My one best friend I had growing up had the little Hamstardo um, figures, I guess you could call it. So it's kind of just something sweet to my own heart. I'm going to go ahead and make this large. So it's very glittery. Save. Okay, and then I found this app in the App Store. And let me find it. Okay, up here. It's just a pair of scissors. And it's what you use it for is you use it for rounding out stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and, so I'll make sure at least a ham stardo is included in it. Okay, and then you want to hit this button down here, and then I'll bring this up, hit this button up here, and hit saved camera roll. So this is currently my theme. It's just like a cute little anime girl theme. And now I'm going to go ahead and send this to myself on my Android. And then now the second part will actually be filmed on my Android. Or filmed on my Android from my iPhone. As of right now, this is being filmed on my Android. Or from my Android on my iPhone. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so I have not yet received the other one that I sent myself, but I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my theme I already kind of pre-planned for. Because as you can see, it didn't even send to myself. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my home screen. And I'm going to go to glitter wallpaper. Also a subscriber sent to me that I could make my icons bigger with the app, which I'm going to show you guys how to make it bigger and or smaller with the app because of, I discovered personally that I like them really big. I always kind of have, but for the specific type of theme I'm kind of going for at the moment, I am gonna go ahead and go with a smaller icon after this, just for this in particular theme. Oh no, I hit the wrong thing. I don't want my Instagram icon to be my background. Okay, and this is what it looks like. So, you want to hold down the screen to hit ADW settings. Icon appearance. 
Okay, so I kind of made mine huge. So I just, I just want to make it dainty for just this in particular theme. Which from the looks of it, it's still kind of on the large side. So I'm going to go back into ADW settings, icon appearance. Oh, that's why I didn't save it. Okay, see how that's dainty? Which, that's what I want for this in particular theme that I'm creating. And even if I didn't already round out the corners, it would still be fine, but for any other launcher, it would actually be a problem. But apparently the way I sent it to myself, the corners didn't stay rounded out, I don't think. So, good thing my launcher that I'm using has that as a pre-focused feature. And see how cute that is with it all dainty and stuff. So yeah, this has been my official homage to Cocopa and a way that we can find a way of, to work around it with us not having the app no longer. So thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe, like, and usually I am not the channel to sit there and say that, but um, I'm actually trying to grow my channel because of I have a job hopefully lined up, but if it doesn't work out, I'm kind of considering maybe making YouTube into a full-time job, and I'm sorry for cracking my fingers, they hurt if I don't. And I know I should have waited until after I was done filming, but like, they're starting to hurt right now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.